Hey guys, John here. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to fix the largest contentful paint or LCP image lazy loading issue in Shopify. This video is going to be part of a series about Shopify speed optimization. So there will be other videos on the subject that will cover other aspects of increasing the Shopify store's load speed. If anything is unclear after watching the video, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to address your questions. And on a quick side note, if you'd like me to help you speed up your site, there's going to be a link to a Fiverr gig of mine in the description. Send me a message and I'll do a page load speed audit for you free of charge. I have a demo store here built on the uh, Dawn theme. It's pretty basic. There are no apps installed and only a few images. A good way to check the load speed of a website is to run what is called a lighthouse test and get a report on the core web vitals that Google uses to help rank sites. And as I'm sure you already know, the faster your site loads, the better its chances to rank well. Not only that, but if you're paying for ads, page speed can have a significant impact on your quality score and therefore cost per click. Plus, there's the user experience factor where if your site doesn't load within three to four seconds of max, your visitor is just going to leave and cost you a potential sale. So it's really important that you spend some time optimizing your store's load speed. So let's run a lighthouse test. Note that I'm running the test in an incognito window so that there's no interference from Chrome extensions or anything else. I'll do Control Shift I to get the DevTools window. And then I'll go to Lighthouse right up here. So I'll, I'll analyze desktop and then I'll click Analyze Page Load. And I'll fast forward through this. There's no sense in you sitting and waiting for this. As we can see, the site gets a 90 performance score, which isn't bad. 90 to 100 is considered an A. And that's to be expected because the site only contains a few images and no apps at all. But if we scroll down a bit, We'll see that in the diagnostics section, there's a red marker that says largest contentful page image or paint image was lazy loaded. And if we expand that, we'll see that for our uh, banner image right here, it says above the fold images that are lazy loaded render later in the uh, page life cycle which can delay the largest contentful paint. This means that while images should be lazy loaded to help the page load speed, the ones above the fold shouldn't be. Only those below the fold should. So to address the issue, we need to edit our themes code so that, or to make it so that our banner image doesn't lazy load. So how do we do that? Well, first, we need to find out which file in the theme structure to modify. Let's right click on the banner image and then click inspect. Let me uh, rearrange some of these things here so that we can see our DOM better. Now we can see that the image is inside this div right here. So if we expand the div, we see the image right here. So let's find the files in the theme structure that contain these two classes right here, banner underscore underscore media and media. I'm going to go to the shop's back office that I have open here in another window. I'm in the themes section under online store. And I'll need to click these three dots right here and then click on edit code. Now Shopify doesn't give us a way to search for file content or the text inside files. It only lets us search for files by file name right here. However, there is a nice Chrome extension that I have installed that saves 
us from the hassle of having to guess which file might contain the text we're looking for. The extension is called Shopify theme uh, file search easy -fi, I believe. Yep. This right here. All you have to do, I mean, I have, I already have it installed. Uh, you should install it if you don't already have it. Once you install it, this search box right up here starts coming up when you're editing a theme code. So I'll search for banner underscore underscore media space second class media. And I'll hit search. And immediately it gives me, it tells me that it exists in two files image dash banner dot liquid and slideshow dot, uh, dot liquid. And since we're dealing with the banner image, image dash banner dot liquid sounds like the file that's relevant to us. So I'm going to open that. So now that I know the name of the file I'm looking for, I can just come here to this search box right here and search for it. I'm going to do image dash banner. And it comes up right here. I'm just going to click on it and which which will open it and i'm just going to get rid of this and then i'll search for the two classes right down here banner underscore underscore media media and we see here that we have our two class div with our two classes with some conditionals after it and if we scroll down just a little bit we see an image tag here with a, a lazy, I'm sorry, with a loading property of lazy, which is the piece of code that makes an image lazy load. So this looks like a pretty close match to what we're looking for. Now, without getting too much in the weeds with Shopify liquid code, since it's not the subject of this video, I'm just going to add some text right here just before the output syntax and then see if it shows up in the right place client side or on the website. If it does, then we'll have one more indication that this is the actual code we're looking to modify to make our banner image not lazy load. If it doesn't, or worst case scenario, if this turns out not to be the right code to modify, then we will have removed the lazy loading on the wrong image and our lighthouse test will show that the banner image is still being lazy loaded, at which time we will just come back to this file and look for a different piece of code to modify. I hope that made sense. I'm just going to write text above banner like that and hit save. And if we go back to the store, refresh, and bring up the image again. We see text above banner or text is right here directly above the banner or the banner image. Good. Let me go back and remove this text just so I don't forget. And then hit save. All we have left to do now is come back here where our loading property and its value of lazy are and either delete this code snippet or change lazy to eager. Either action will have the same effect and should stop or banner from lazy loading. Personally, I prefer to change lazy to eager. This way, if for whatever reason we need to change it back to lazy at any time in the future, it'll be easier to find where the code goes. And now if we run another lighthouse test. I'm just going to refresh really quick. I'm going to come here to lighthouse. And I'm just going to run a new report. Desktop. Click analyze page load. And again, I'm going to fast forward through this. And as we can see, our performance is quite a bit better with a 99 score. And if we scroll down to the diagnostics section, 
we no longer get the notice about the lazy loading. And that's it. That covers how to fix the largest contentful paint LCP image lazy loading issue in Shopify. I hope you found the video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.